Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Time and Tarot. This is Tanya. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, good afternoon, Divine Time and Tarot family. I love you, I thank you, and I appreciate you. Welcome, 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 new subscribers. Yeah, we're here doing a general reading for Virgo. This is a bonus reading for Virgo. Virgo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys have been showing a lot of love. And I thank you and I truly appreciate you. That's why you're getting a bonus read, okay? So, this is a general reading. It is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Virgo, I've already prayed and I've saged the cards. And I have been shuffling, okay? So, give me an overall energy, God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit, for Virgo, this is for October 2021. Face shopper. You guys are getting yourself very grounded here, I see. You're working hard. You're trying to master something. The base shopper. This is you being grounded. Yeah. And and, and, and and very stable. This is definitely your energy, pinnacle. I mean, you know, earth energy. Stable, grounded, working on your money mastering something and you're gonna you 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 headed towards those ten of pentacles here abundance prosperity mm -hmm. i don't know i just happen to just turn this over someone hates the way they treated you when i say they hate the way they treated you wow but it is time to focus change your focus it is so time to change your focus okay it's time yeah, someone definitely wanted an equal give and take with you, but I guess the situation was kind of toxic, you know? There was something toxic about the situation, and it had to end with the death card. The three of swords. Someone is definitely sad. They're definitely sad. Look. They feel that you are a missed opportunity. But there are opportunities for you. Universe is offering you something. You're not thinking about the past anymore. Look, you got your back turned. You're looking up at universe because you're you're wanting that new opportunity that is coming, okay? It's coming. Patience is a virtue, okay? Maybe universe is teaching you patience, okay? Remember, slow and steady wins the race is what I'm hearing. So be patient. Maybe there's some things that you still need to work out within yourself, okay? That, you know, universe is wanting you to work out before they send you the person that you deserve. Yeah, there's something coming in. You're definitely moving forward. You're definitely, you're going to have options. You're going to have options. So, let's get a little bit more clarification here on what's going on, Virgo. I like this because you guys are definitely moving on. I mean, you're done with something. It's 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 over. It's done. You know, your 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 thinking is different. Your thinking is different. The energy is different. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. Okay, why is the base chakra here? Why is the base chakra here? <coughs> Excuse me. With this base chakra being here, as far as you getting yourself grounded, this is confirmation with the Eight of Pentacles that you're definitely doing that. You're working on it, okay? You are definitely working on getting yourself grounded. Why is the base chakra here for Virgo? Why is the base chakra here for Virgo? The four of pentacles. 
This is you saving money, holding on to your money. Watching, you know, how you spend your money, you know, spending wisely. And I, and I really do think this is all about money. It is. It's all about money. It could be all about somebody still holding on to you because they know that you are a missed opportunity. It's a possibility. You also have the hangman. You've gotten a different perspective. You've been enlightened. You know, you're, you, you're letting go. You're letting go of something here. You're letting go. It's like I said, your mind, your your mind, your state of mind is changed. You know, you're changing. You're changing. You're definitely moving on. The 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 page of coins. There's a new opportunity coming in here for you. This could be good news about money. This could be good news about a job. But there's something that you're working on that something new you started that is going to grow this is going to be something long term it's going to grow something here that you're working on is going to grow but you need patience you need to be patient the page of cups we got somebody here that wants to apologize because remember that five of cups that i seen at the back of the deck because someone regrets the way they treated you yeah the magician. You are the magician, Virgo. You can manifest anything that you want at this time. You have everything within your being to manifest the things that you want. There's something that you're very passionate about. You're aggressive about it and you're going for it and you're going to get it. You're very stable. You're very grounded here. You're very nurturing, very intuitive. I'm definitely seeing you as the Queen of Pentacles, even though it's not here. You're being very practical and very logical. You're seeing things very practical and very logical. You're, you're, you're not coming from an emotional state. You're not putting your heart into things. You're seeing things exactly the way they are. I love it. I love it. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? The Two of Swords. So there's something you're trying to make a decision about. There's something you're being indecisive about. Possibly about work. See, I just said, even though you're, the Queen of Coins is not here, this is the energy that you're in, and it just popped out. It just popped out. The Queen of Coins. You're focused. On whatever it is that you're passionate about, this could be a new, um, um, something that you do on the side, you know, something that you do on the side. And the hermit, you're very isolated at this time. You're very focused on you. Why is a two of swords here? Because I'm worried about what, what is this decision? What is it oh, about moving on? About moving on? Maybe some of you guys want a new job? Want to move on from the job that you're at, maybe? I don't know. Give me some more on this Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune. Something is definitely going to go in your favor. You're going to have a lot of options here. Probably options in jobs, too. And you're going to have to make a decision. You know, on some a new job. I'm thinking about. It. I'm saying. I'm. I'm hearing a new job coming in for you guys. Hmm. A new opportunity. That's for sure. You're definitely gonna have options. You're determined to move forward, and you are moving forward. Congratulations. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Why is the Four of Cups here? Opportunity beckons. Definitely got an opportunity here. The universe is offering you. Look at this. Look at this. The sun. Opportunities. Abundance. Happiness. At the end of the day, your guides, your universe, your ancestors, your Holy Spirit has your back. 
And you do have an opportunity here that's going to make you happy. There's an opportunity here for you that's going to make you happy. Hmm. You got somebody here, and I don't think this is your energy. You could there's a there's a possibility you can still be protecting yourself. You've been through a lot. You've been through something with you know with with whatever a job, a personal a relationship or whatever. But you're not giving up. You you're not giving up. The emperor. You know who you are. You know your worth. Yes. I love it. Give me some more on this four of cups and the sun card. Um, I hear also that this opportunity that the high power is sending your way is going to be enlightened it's coming. It's definitely coming. Look, we got the king of coins and the queen of coins. As I'm saying this, your opportunity is coming. This is going to be very stable for you. You and somebody is going to be a power couple. Could be another Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn as yourself. Could be a, 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 another earth sign. But somebody is definitely going to offer you something. This is definitely going to make you happy too. One more for the four cups. One more for the four cups. Okay, so you're giving me two. Um, this is the nine of swords, but it's in the reverse. So you're no longer stressing over anything. You're not losing any sleep. You know, you're happy. I see you're happy. And whoever's coming in definitely is going to make you happy too. Yeah. Could be a Leo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But this is new. This is a new person, guys. This is new. The star card. You're doing a lot of healing. Your wishes are going to be granted. Whatever you've been wishing and praying for, Virgo, it's coming. It's coming. The six of cups. Hmm. Um. Yes, someone in your past. Look at this. You got the... I just saw the emperor, and here's the empress. Wow. Yeah, someone's thinking about you. Yeah, y'all know somebody thinking about you. Y'all know somebody can't get you off they man. But you're not thinking about them, so I don't know. That's their, that's their problem. That is their problem. Okay, let's see who you're dealing with. Let's see who you're dealing with. I'm going to go through the signs. Like water, air, fire, and earth. Okay? I'm going to go through those signs to see who you could be dealing with. Okay? If you are dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio, what's going on? Virgo dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. What's going on, God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit? Oh, that came out quick. Five of coins. This person, if you're dealing with a, what did I say? Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Water sign. This person is feeling abandoned. This person is feeling, you know, put out. Maybe you put somebody out. This person is having issues, money issues. Because something is at a standstill. Because you've been enlightened about something, about somebody. A Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And you're leaving that person. Mm-hmm. This person wants a new beginning here. This person wants to start something new with you. The Page of Pentacles. This person wants a new beginning, but you've ended something with this. You're, you're done. You're done. You're done with this person. You've ended this cycle. Six of Cups. Definitely someone in your past. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That's if you're dealing with that person, okay? One more. The Knight of Wands. This person misses you sexually. Someone misses you sexually. Okay? Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. If you are dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Present or past. Okay? Present or past. I'm going to say present. 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 
I don't know. Put it wherever it goes, y'all. I don't know. If it fits, it fits. If it doesn't, it doesn't. If you are if a Virgo dealing with a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, what is going on in that situation? Virgo dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Virgo dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Virgo dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. I don't want that. Uh, uh. Virgo dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. We have the Queen of Cups. If you're dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, this person has a lot of emotions for you. This person has a love for you. The King of Coins. This person wants to offer you something. Virgo dealing with a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. The Queen of Swords. <laughs> you're cutting this person off. This person, you're, you're over. You're over it. The Six of Swords. You're moving on. You're moving on. Eight of Cups. Definitely. You're done. This person was a wish fulfillment of yours, though. But with the Queen of Swords and the Six of Swords, you're cutting that off. You're moving on. Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups. You're moving towards your wish fulfillment. One more. If you're dealing with a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Three of Coins. Someone wants to collaborate with you. Someone wants to talk to you. Someone thinks you're a good team player. Someone likes what you do too at for work. Yeah. Okay, if you're dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, like yourself. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, like yourself. And then we got fire, right? Okay. If you're dealing with an earth sign like yourself, Virgo, let's see what's going on. If you're dealing with a earth sign like yourself, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What's going on with Virgo dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn? Okay. It looks like someone's trying to get themselves balanced. Maybe they got a, somebody got a lot of things going on. Could be juggling, money, bills. I don't know. People. Because I say people because of the lovers. Yeah. Somebody is juggling. If you're de Virgo, if you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Earth sign like yourself, somebody's juggling someone here. Mm -hmm. Someone has seen someone else. Someone has to make a big decision here, too. Between two people. But someone is determined to move forward here with their wish fulfillment. Possibly a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Someone is determined to move forward towards their wish fulfillment. What do we have at the bottom of the deck? Judgment. Someone feels that you left them out in the cold. Someone is wanting to, to invest here. Someone wants a second chance. If you're dealing with an earth sign like yourself, they want a second chance. If you're dealing with a Leo, Sag, or an Aries. Virgo dealing with a Leo, Sag, or an Aries. Virgo dealing with a Leo, Sag, or an Aries, guys. What's going on? Virgo dealing with a Leo, Sag, or an Aries. I flipped that card over, so I'm going to put it in the upright because it landed on me and I flipped it over. If you're dealing with a Leo, Sag, or an Aries, they feel like you, like you are a missed opportunity. They feel that you are their soulmate, and they feel that you have them blocked. They know that you have boundaries. They know that you're standing up for yourself, but they feel that you are their ten of cups, honey. You are their wish fulfillment. You make this person happy. This person wants to balance things out with you. If you're dealing with a Leo, Sag, or Aries, they want to work on this situation, honey. They show sure do. Ooh, they think you're fine, sexy. They miss the six, okay? If you're dealing with a Leo, Sag, or an Aries, they're about to take action here, too. 
Somebody here is their emotions is all over the place, but they willing to, to, to offer this cup. Now they're willing to express how they feel. They are the king of swords. Huh? Okay, y'all. The king of swords in the reverse. Someone's not being honest. Someone's not being honest. Someone's not being honest. Why is this king of swords in the reverse? Why is the king of swords in the reverse? Ooh. Okay, so... Maybe they weren't being honest when this King of Cups was in the upright because you know in the upright he doesn't express. But now he they about to express how they truly feel. They were wearing a mask, but they pulling that mask off. They taking action. If you're dealing with a Leo Sag or an Aries, they about to take action because they want to be with you. Yeah, they want to be with you. They want that new beginning, that new passionate beginning. They also want that sex again too. I tell you, y'all Virgos... Y'all be, y'all laying pipe and thunder, male or female. Okay, male or female. Y'all must be laying the pipe and the thunder, okay? Because, honey, <laughs> they be wanting that passion with y'all, huns, buns. They do. They be wanting that passion with y'all. Let's get an outcome here so I can get you guys on your way. I truly appreciate y'all. Showing me all that love. I do. I love it. What's the outcome here for Virgo? What's the outcome here for Virgo? The Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. New abundant beginning. Universe is offering. This is a windfall of abundance. Windfall of money. Wise counsel. Or good fortune. An exciting career opportunity. A lucrative contract. Significant purchases like a home or a vehicle. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, here we go. Five of Cups. You know what? Dude. Cross watcher. Stop. <laughs> this is somebody focusing. This is somebody crying over spilled milk. Crying over spilled milk for the things that happened in the past. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, Justice, you are definitely getting things balanced out for you. You're very stable. You're very grounded. This Five of, this five of Cups and this Five of Swords is somebody in your past that's like all in their head, okay? They're all in their head. They know they made an unwise choice. You have nothing to do with that anymore. You're over it. You are over it. There is somebody coming in that wants to apologize to you, but you got to love. You got you got new love coming in, period. You got somebody that's going to come in and sweep you off of your feet, honey. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yup. This is going to be a sudden love affair. So, Virgo, this is what I got for you guys. I thank you, thank you, thank you again, okay, for showing the love that you show. I hope you enjoyed this bonus. If you guys resonate, please like, share, and subscribe. Love you guys. Bye.